Hey there my friends, my name is Governor Gus and I want to thank you for checking out this video. I want to also thank you for listening and for watching this chapter of the day from the scriptures. Now I pray that this message is going to be a blessing to you, um, to your family as well and that you feel encouraged. But also reach out to me on Facebook, um, I'm going to put my links in the description below um, so that we can connect um, and also help and encourage one another. So I pray that today's message is a blessing to you. And um, I look forward to connecting with you even more. And may God continue to bless you. Bye for now. Genesis 36 These are the generations of Esau, that is, Edom. Esau took his wives from the Canaanites, Ada, the daughter of Elon the Hittite, Aholabama, the daughter of Ana, the daughter of Zibion the Hivite, and Basimath, Ishmael's daughter, the sister of Nebaioth. And Ada bore to Esau Eliphaz, Basimath bore Ruel, and Aholabama bore Jeish, Jalem, and Korah. These are the sons of Esau who were born to him in the land of Canaan. Then Esau took his wives, his sons, his daughters, and all the members of his household, his livestock, all his beasts, and all his property that he had acquired in the land of Canaan. He went into a land away from his brother Jacob, for their possessions were too great for them to dwell together. The land of their sojournings could not support them because of their livestock. So Esau settled in the hill country of Seir. Esau is Edom. These are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in the hill country of Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons, Eliphaz the son of Ada, the wife of Esau, Ruel, the son of Basimath, the wife of Esau. The sons of Eliphaz were Teman, Omar, Zepho, Gatim, and Kenaz. Timnah was a concubine of Eliphaz, Esau's son. She bore Amalek to Eliphaz. These are the sons of Ada, Esau's wife. These are the sons of Ruel, Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. These are the sons of Basimath, Esau's wife. These are the sons of Aholabama, the daughter of Ana, the daughter of Zibion, Esau's wife. She bore to Esau Jeush, Jalem, and Korah. These are the chiefs of the sons of Esau, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn of Esau, the chiefs Teman, Omar, Zepho, Kenaz, Korah, Gatim, and Amalek. These are the chiefs of Eliphaz in the land of Edom. These are the sons of Ada. These are the sons of Ruel, Esau's son, the chiefs Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. These are the chiefs of Ruel in the land of Edom. These are the sons of Basimath, Esau's wife. These are the sons of Aholabama, Esau's wife the chiefs Jeush, Jalem, and Korah. These are the chiefs born of Aholabama, the daughter of Ana, Esau's wife. These are the sons of Esau, that is, Edom, and these are their chiefs. These are the sons of Seir, the Horite, the inhabitants of the land, Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Ana, Dishan, Ezer, and Dishan. These are the chiefs of the Horites, the sons of Seir in the land of Edom. The sons of Lotan were Horai and Hemam. And Lotan's sister was Timnah. These are the sons of Shobal, Alvan, Manahath, Ebal, Shepho, and Onam. These are the sons of Zibion, Aya and Ana. He is the Ana who found the hot springs in the wilderness as he pastured the donkeys of Zibion, his father. These are the children of Ana, Dishan and Aholabama, the daughter of Ana. These are the sons of Dishan, Hemdan, Eshban, Ithran, and Kiran. These are the sons of Ezer, Bilhan, Zeavan, and Achan. These are the sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aran. These are the chiefs of the Horites, the chiefs Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Ana, Dishan, Ezer, and Dishan. These are the chiefs of the Horites, 
chief by chief in the land of Seir. These are the kings who reigned in the land of Edom before any king reigned over the Israelites. Bela, the son of Beor, reigned in Edom, the name of his city being Dinabah. Bela died, and Jobab, the son of Zerah of Basra, reigned in his place. Jobab died, and Husham of the land of the Temanites reigned in his place. Husham died, and Hadad, the son of Bedad, who defeated Midian in the country of Moab, reigned in his place, the name of his city being Avith. Hadad died, and Samla of Masrika reigned in his place. Samla died, and Shal of Rehoboth on the Euphrates reigned in his place. Shal died, and Baal Hanan the son of Akbor reigned in his place. Baal Hanan the son of Akbor died, and Hadar reigned in his place, the name of his city being Pau. His wife's name was Mehedabal, the daughter of Matred, daughter of Mezahab. These are the names of the chiefs of Esau, according to their clans and their dwelling places, by their names. The chiefs Timna, Alva, Jetheth, Aholibama, Elah, Pinon, Kenaz, Teman, Mibzar, Magdiel, and Iram. These are the chiefs of Edom, that is, Esau, the father of Edom, according to their dwelling places in the land of their possession. Hey there, my friends. My name is Kelvin Augusta again. Thank you for checking out this episode of One Minute Bible Study. Here, the goal is to really share some word of encouragement, share the scriptures, um, share something from the Bible to inspire us to live godly lives, to get closer to Christ, um, to connect with God. So again, if you have any questions, issues, quarrels, comments, uh, recommendations, or you just want to reach out, um, I'm going to put my links to Facebook, my personal profile. I will look forward to connecting with you, um, to helping encourage one another, and to share in any way that we can be a blessing to one another. So again, feel free to connect with me below. Thank you again for checking out this episode of One Minute Bible Study, where we've shared scripture, we've said, shared encouragement, um, and I look forward to connecting with you. May God continue to bless you. Bye for now.